Today, I was actually trying and planning to go and buy a few more toe rings. And because my toes are in different sides and very long, sometimes I even want to have like three rings in a, in a row, like in, in just one toe, like especially my very long toe around here, the second one after the big toe. But then, uh, this one is quite expensive here in Australia. Like, uh, this one is not adjustable, if I can show you here. <laughs> but it cost me, you may not believe, you, may, it, you might be shocked. If you're not from any country that has dollar currency, you may be shocked and you might think I'm stupid to pay this much of money. But we don't have much option here. Most of the things are here are just take it or leave it. We don't have a second chance. It's like most things are under control here. Like, even if you want to bo go and buy a car, it, all of these showrooms at the other side of the highway, they just belong to one person. <laughs> so it's just like you, you enter from different doors, but at the end of the day, and they have different car branding, but it just belongs to one person. The absolute monopoly here. So, so by the way, uh, I wish to have all my toes full of rings. I just feel like it's so feminine, it's so elegant. It, it has some vibe in it. And you know, I love my feet, I love to show them off. But $25 for one, so the lady was justifying it. They said, oh no, this is silver, it's a good quality. Come on, $25. And then I bought this one for my very smallest one here. And I went to this shop, it's called, I'm not sure if it can fit in. Please, go in. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it fits in, comes with a butterfly. And then I have, uh, I have actually went to this shop, it's called a Spotlight, and bought these two goldish toe rings here. Guess what happened? I just wear them like one day, just one day for a few hours. And in just a few hours, they turn to black, especially down there, like then my feet touches the ground on my shoe. And they just, after just one sweating, they turn into black. Shame on you, spotlight. And I wanted to go back and take my money so I'd return the item. But then I thought I'm going to have a hard time, like getting nervous, trying to deal with them and trying to talk to the lady. So I felt like, never mind. It's all right. At least I go to my channel and bring shame to them. Do not sell the junks. And you know how much they sold these things? This, this ring comes in two. They sold it $5. I know it's in comparison to this silver ring, which is adjustable and it's very good quality, which is $25. $5 is cheaper. But come on, how much you bought it? And why are you selling rubbish to people? Look at this one. I love this one. So my objective is to have at least 10 or 15 quality very high quality toe rings, which they should be mostly adjustable, either like from white gold or real gold. Actually, I like it in, uh, in white color. But you see, this is my struggle now. They're too expensive that this is almost like a dream. That's why I need your support. <laughs> so you can support me. You can uh, always go and buy $5 coffees, and then I would feel blessed, I would feel encouraged. And I have opened TikTok account for you guys because you have asked for it. <coughs> coffee killing my coffee is killing my voice. But then after I opened the TikTok, only six people subscribe. Come on, what's wrong with you guys? I open it for you. <laughs> so go and subscribe to the TikTok channel and there is a fantastic gentleman, he requested me to have a car vacuuming video in clear heels. So I'm planning to go and make that video for him, but maybe not today because it's almost dark. I want to make it someday, perhaps around Sunday or Saturday during the daytime when there's enough sun and there are not too many people there, you know, so I can uh, really uh, pay him back because he contributed something in my Ko-Fi account. So, 
Another thing I want to ask you is to communicate. I want you to write down everywhere. If you are enjoying the content, if you want to get connected with me, if you want to know me, I want you to talk to me. Make sense? So if you talk to me, we can become friends. We won't be strangers. Like right now, I'm recording on two different cameras for two different angles. But at the same time, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to go live with my phone. Angela Atena is live right now. Join to talk to her and get to know each other, each other's, okay? Question mark. <laughs> and to, to know each other's, join to know each other's. And I want you to discuss anything that you want me to create in the future for you. That is really important because sometimes I just run out of ideas. So now I'm live. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a snap, a thumbnail, technically a thumbnail. Oh, this is too close. I need to get it slightly higher. Amazing. And then I'm live. Easy as that. You see? <laughs> but when I go live, uh, hardly I have a few people that they're talking to me. But the moment I disappear, I, I, I go offline, until the next day I see a few hundred people they watch the live actually, and it really amazes me. But I think the idea of going live on YouTube, it's not really a good idea because it's proven, it's almost proven it's not working. And look, if you're someone walking behind the scene of my video, and then you are in my video, it's up to you it's not my fault <laughs> if you want to get viral and famous with me you're welcome <laughs> so actually some people really do it and propose or perhaps out of carelessness i don't know i can't really say because i'm not in their brain but one thing i can do is to set my camera my live camera here This one actually is like a one-man show. I struggle a lot in order to create some beautiful contents for you guys. The reason why is I am doing everything myself, A to Z. You see, I have to... <laughs> that is too close. My goodness. I have to find the different angles of the cameras and see which one works for me. <laughs> and this phone, the funny thing about the phone is, when I get away from the phone, oh, okay, of course you can have me, but then the funny part about it is, I can't even read your comments. So in order to solve that problem, I have to get another phone involved <laughs> because I need to read your comments, right? I need to see who is live, who is watching. So as a result, I have to come and get another phone in order ah, to be able to read what is going down, down there in the... <laughs> I love the sun behind me. It's finally some sun, huh? Oh boy. <laughs> You need some good photos. <laughs> okay. Yeah, most guys, like when they, when they are trying to sell the cars, they bring the cars around the corner and with their mobile phones, they just take photos to put online and sell the car. So if I'm free, I'll get my very good camera and I offer them a few photos and they will be like surprised. Like yesterday I went to that beach and I saw three talented Asian girls that they're dancing and I offered them, I can make them some TikToks and they loved it. And I've, I made one already and I sent to the girl and I'm just waiting for her response because I made it like 
MTV style, like retro 1980s something. <laughs> and I'm sure she would go crazy. She would be very excited. I'm just uh, waiting for her respond. And I think I'm going to make another video for her as well. Because I found her very talented and she had no one to support her. So I felt like, don't worry. I know how to shoot a good film. I'll make you famous. <laughs> but I myself, okay, I'm a little bit photogenic, I know. I love to be in front of camera. I can talk for hours, but I don't have much talent, I think. So if I find someone who is really talented and willing to be in front of my camera, I would definitely invite them in. And this specific lady, charming, beautiful young lady, uh, if she consents, I would, put the, I would put her dance on one of my channels. I'm not sure which one. Perhaps that vanilla one, the second new, new YouTube channel. So don't miss, don't miss on being on my second channel. The reason why is if you are missing it, you're missing it. I open that channel for you. So I'm going to turn off my cameras and say goodbye to my... <coughs> to that video, <laughs> to that camera. Look, see? This is how I actually do it. And then I had this camera down there and I'm on the phone here. It's amazing how I have, I can manage all of these things together at the same time. But that golden thing actually attracts my attention. I'm gonna go and uh, offer that part drooper to take his photos or something. Yeah, I think that would be fun. So let's turn off these things from here. You know, when I take photos in very cloudy days, they tend to be very different, you know? They look different out of sudden. I'm not sure what the clouds actually do with this uh, <laughs> clouds and sun, actually. You see? <laughs> I wonder why, where is everyone? Okay. I can minimize the, these things and turn off the cameras. And if I can, I need to turn it off. My goodness. I was, I thought I'm taking photo. I was taking video. And then I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna turn off that one because I can shoot this one with that one. My goodness. I have messed up everything. No! I'm not sure what is this picture, picture, no, not picture, pixel. Pixel mapping. Every time I'm in rush, I want to do something very serious. Guess what happens? This is stupid uh, camera <laughs> comes up with an, with an idea. It says you want to do pixel mapping. Okay, guys. Since you know where is my second camera and that is my phone, this is my camera. Then I'm going to go and talk to the... talk to the sport guy and to see if I can take the footage of his trying to do some sporty stuff. So I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I need to go. I have business to do. Take care and we catch up later until the next video. Bye bye. Should I stay live? <laughs> live? Maybe. Maybe live is okay.